If you're working on your art, but you're feeling stuck, like you're not progressing, and you're simply not loving your paintings, I'd like to introduce you to my new program, Studio Journey Masterclass. This program is going to help you discover foundational concepts and methods that I have personally used to both bring my art to a new place and in guiding thousands of artists to go from no to flow in their art and finally create paintings that wow them. I'm so excited to tell you about this. This is for artists and creatives who struggle with self-doubt and not liking their art. Hi, my name is Nancy Hillis and I'm an abstract artist, best-selling author, an existential psychiatrist and I'm here to tell you that it took me a long time to get to the place of feeling creatively confident and creating paintings that I loved, paintings that wowed me because I made three massive mistakes that I also see other artists making. One of those mistakes is simply not painting enough. And two, I was caught up in chasing techniques rather than foundational principles. And three, I ended up repeating myself in my art. Does any of this sound familiar? When I actually started following a plan that focused on not only painting more, creating more starts, but also learning key principles like simplicity and constraint, and really going to that edge of experimentation and evolving my art. I made astonishing progress that took me from no to flow, from paintings I didn't love, to paintings that took me to, a, to the stratosphere of wow in a quite short time. So in a few weeks, I was able to move past the blocks that had kept me in a state of repetition for years. And that's exactly what I want to teach you in this program. I had to learn that your inner journey is your most important asset. It affects everything in your art. Your psychology affects everything. And I also realized that there are three key actions that make 90% of the difference in taking your art to that place of wow. So what are these three key actions you might ask? Well, there's the overarching inner journey that affects everything. And then there are three actions start. You've got to start. You need to create miles of canvas, zero to one. And we know that the pros paint a lot. Experiment. So you finally started painting, you're on a roll, you're painting a lot, and you're not making any one particular painting precious, only to find yourself emulating others. Whether it's the masters, or it's other artists' work that you like and admire. But see, the problem is pretty soon that gets boring. And the key to that emulation of others is to experiment and to ask yourself, what if? And to allow yourself to create ugly art, to embrace that. Because I really believe that's a vital part of experimentation is allowing for ugly art. And finally, the third action is evolve. So you're finally experimenting, you're on fire with exploration, and maybe you're selling out your solo exhibitions, and people are taking notice because your work is pretty exciting. But soon, you start to get anxious. You ask yourself, oh, can I replicate this, this success? And pretty soon, you've got a success disaster on your hands. And that's the danger of winning is the old fear arises inviting you to play it safe, to replicate what works. And pretty soon, you're not only 
moving off of emulating others, but now you're emulating yourself. And that's deadening. It's predictable. And so the answer is to go to that edge, that place of continually evolving your art. And what we're talking about here is called the adjacent possible. This is a concept from evolutionary biology that will transform your experience of creating art. By continually evolving your art, you'll be excited to show up in your studio. You won't be so threatened about creating ugly art because you'll understand the value of it. And pretty soon, you'll be creating paintings you love. Paintings that excite and wow you. So in this program, I'm guiding you through the foundational concepts and principles that will move you past self-doubt and emulation of others and even emulation of yourself to art that is astonishing. You'll learn principles from the intersections of art, psychology, creativity, science, and mathematics that will guide you to create your most exploratory art. Art that reflects you, your signature, your lexicon. You'll explore working in a series, creating many painting starts, flux, the power of simplicity and constraint, working large, staying loose, value maquettes, color contrast, the Zorn palette and abstract painting, combinatorics and recombinatorics, and much more. Threaded through it all is the adjacent possible framework. This is a conceptual model that I've developed that I'll apply to creativity. And I'll teach you this. Because I believe that the essence of being an artist is continually evolving your art, going to that edge. One form unfolds into the next. It's like being in a river. It's ever changing and it never ends. And what we're really talking about here is the big mama of all concepts. The groundbreaking concept from theoretical evolutionary biology formulated and articulated by my partner, Dr. Bruce Sawhill and Dr. Stuart Kaufman at the Santa Fe Institute in the 90s. And that's the adjacent possible. And I'm going to apply that to creativity. So it's going to be so exciting to see where you go as you begin to bring these concepts to creativity itself in your art. Because the adjacent possible is the idea that each step you take illuminates a number of possible paths forward that were not only invisible before, but didn't exist before you took that action or that step or that move. You literally change the environment you're in. It is co-evolution. It is co-creation. I think it's one of the most exciting concepts I've ever heard. And so can you imagine yourself exploring the adjacent possible in your art? What we're talking about here is cultivating surprise. You simply don't know what's going to happen next. And we embrace this, not knowing. And that makes for astonishing, unpredictable, unique art. Art from you, your gestures, your experiences, your impulses. It's a mind-blowing concept. And why is this evolving your art, the adjacent possible framework, important? Well, because I believe that being an artist is about continually evolving your art, allowing it to unfold and not be reduced down by prescription, art critique, or formula. It's about reaching for your fullest self-expression and getting to the elusive, deepest work you crave to do. It's about continually stepping into the unknown, into the adjacent possible, and cultivating surprise. This is where the most astonishing art comes from. It is the essence of creativity. Indeed, it is the science of creativity. And on top of the adjacent possible framework, we will also explore the IC creativity methodology 
which is a framework I've developed to guide you in the three key actions to take your art to the stratosphere of wow. There's a lot of material in here and it's for you. If you want to go on this journey with me from no to flow, to feel confident as an artist, to create art that excites and wows you, and to create your deepest, most meaningful art, art that expresses you, then join me for this journey. Become a journeyer in the Studio Journey Masterclass. And I hope to see you in there. Thank you.